Hello everyone, welcome back to Sharp Star Optics. Today I'm gonna introduce the Asuka ADPHQ. It's the second long focal ratio astrograph from Asuka following 107 PHQ. So they share much similarity both in mechanical and optical design. ADPHQ comes with a wide optical tube and green components. It's a classic color combination of APHQ. In its optical system, ADPHQ is designed with 3 plus 1 quadruple lens structure, including two pieces of ED glass, effective to reduce chromatic aberration and enhance the clarity and sharpness. Some people might be confused, since they have so much in common, then why bother designing two astrographs? Especially for those new to astrophotography, it might be a trouble to pick one proper telescope from oceans of different versions and types. So, at the very first glance, you can intuitively tell that ADPHQ is more compact. That's because 107 PHQ is 107 mm in aperture and 750 mm in focal length, whereas 80 PHQ is 80 mm in aperture and 600 mm in focal length. So, if your actorial mount has a lower payload, this light and portable astrograph is more suitable. And we can divide the focal lengths with their apertures to get the focal ratios. Focal ratio is used to describe the speed of a telescope. 107 PHQ is f7 and 80 PHQ is f7.5. That means 80 PHQ has a little bit longer or say slower focal ratio. Many novices may misunderstand the focal ratio. They may consider that the longer or the faster the better. But actually it depends on the purpose that the telescope is for. If everything being equal, the longer the focal ratio is, the less light a telescope can gather during a given time, and you can get a larger magnification and a smaller field of view. It's a great choice for observing or imaging small objects with more details. On the other hand, the shorter the focal ratio is, the much more light it can grasp, proper for imaging wide field objects. It's interesting to know that 107 or 80 has a longer focal ratio just compared with other previous telescopes from ASCA, but they are actually medium focal ratio telescopes compared with f4, f5, f10 or f11 in the market. Traditional long focal ratio refractors can only be applied in observation due to the troublesome accessory connection, and those traditional short focal ratio refractors suffer a lot from chromatic aberration which cannot satiate customers' needs. But ASCA 80 or 107PHQ refractor can be applied in astrophotography and also used to obtain quality and stable images by virtue of its powerful flat field capacity and other optical performance. And in the final part, we'll connect 80PHQ with other accessories as usual. As we mentioned, it's proper for observation and astrophotography. So, in the observation mode, we need an eyepiece and a diagonal. First, take off the 1.25 inch eyepiece holder, insert the diagonal, and then the eyepiece. Now we can observe the objects through our telescope. And in the image mode, we need a four piece adapter. Look at the specification on our official website. I just skip the introduction here. We should first take off the eyepiece holder and pick the proper part of adapter. Then attach Asuka OAG. Asuka field drawer. And an astronomy camera. Different from 107PHQ, there is precise graduation on the rotator to record the best shooting angle. Remember that the connection is limited in this mode, from the base of M68 times one male thread to focal plane, the overall length should be less than 155mm. ADPHQ is a cost-effective refractor, 
users don't need to calculate the confusing back focus within connection limit. And the four-piece adapter simplifies the connection. And it has strong flat field power, you don't need an extra flattener. F7.5 focal ratio is quite suitable for observation and especially for astrophotography. So maybe it's time to get an Asuka ADPHQ, put in your yard or balcony to roam the universe in your home.